Yeah, the plan is the lane and then like, yeah. You want, if it makes it easier for yeah. my direction, I'll call on you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's it's nice to uh, get past this point. I think uh, I could really focus now on, on uh, one thing, and that's you know uh, doing what I can do to help this team uh, from here on in till the end of the season. And uh, obviously, in the last couple of weeks, uh, you know, things have been a little bit uh, emotionally tough for me as far as uh, you know uh, where I'm going or, or whatnot. But uh, now I can really. Uh, make sure that I'm focusing on the right thing. Yeah. It, what, it couldn't have just been a normal morning for you, getting up today, coming to the rink, seeing the guys and seeing Corey. Yeah, I mean, um, how was that for you? Honestly, uh, it's weird. I mean, I've been uh, pretty calm about the whole situation till about, uh, for some reason, yesterday uh, late evening. Uh, I started getting weird feelings in my stomach. Uh, not that I had to go to the bathroom, but just that uh, I was getting nervous and I didn't really know, obviously I knew why, but it was the first time really that I had uh, that type of feeling in my gut. So um, I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but uh, now that it's over, I can, uh, like I said, just focus on hockey. Karen, you left the ice early. I was curious what that was all about. And, uh... Well, it was 10 minutes before the deadline, so uh, they wanted to make sure that I was available uh, in case something happened and in case I needed to uh, sign off on anything. Was it your sense wasn't well, I, I thought something was possible. I, I wasn't sure if it was gonna, something was going to happen or not, but I definitely knew something was possible. Hi, Roberto, are you disappointed you're not traded and that you're willing to go through the rest of the season as the backup? I don't think disappointment is the right word. I think uh, it's been an emotional uh, ride uh, the last year, you know. Uh, um, I think it's more the unknown that... Uh, that has gone to me more than anything else. I mean, I'm proud to be a Vancouver Canuck. Um, I love here. I love it here. I love my teammates. And, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a matter of uh, sometimes the unknown and, and what the future holds is, is something that uh, you try not to think about, but you do sometimes. And, uh, you know, I'm human, and, you know, sometimes it gets to you. I see everybody's request. I've got Brooke, and then I've got Jay, and then I've got everybody. From, from what you were hearing, Roberto, from Mike, and what was the stumbling block to moving him? Would it be length of contract term? Uh, Trading? my contract sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what's the problem is, and um, fortunately, it's it's a big uh, it's a big uh, factor in, in trading me, and uh, it's probably uh, why I'm still here. What's your part about your contract? <laughs> I don't know. You guys do the analysis on that, so. Um, you know, I can tell you. Jay, Ian, and then you. I'm glad you brought that up because that's, I mean, as, much, as many millions as you're pulling in, have you thought about that contract and how much it's going to play, how much you don't play, or how much you will play, and where in the next year or so, and how difficult it is? I mean, have yeah, you thought a lot about that? for sure. I mean, uh, I've had a whole year to think about it, so. Uh, it's good for some things, but uh, not so good for others, so. Um, you know, that's a decision uh, me and management made a few years ago when we signed it, and we're going to have to find a way to get a solution. Yeah, how difficult is it? I mean, could you move yourself if you were a general manager? I mean, could you be put in Mike's position? And <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 yeah, it's, it's a tough situation for everybody, no doubt. I mean, um, we're obviously trying to make the best out of it and, and uh, making sure that, uh, uh, you know, what's best for both sides is done. and. Obviously, uh, the time wasn't now, and, and we'll have to wait. Ian, Jason, Farmer, uh, Roberto, uh, obviously, to a lot of people, you've got it made. You know, this huge contract, $64 million, whether you get whether you play or not. Yeah. But at this point, is the money poor compensation for not playing? If you could trade some of that contract but be able to go play somewhere. I, I'd scrap it if I could right now. So. And just a, a, a quick follow-up as well. You were very clear in the summer that you wanted to go to Florida. I think the team tried off and on for a while to make a deal happen. It never happened. Do you uh, wish that you had given them more options back then? Is there anything about this process that you, you would do differently? Um, 
That's a, that's a good question, and it's a tough one to answer. I mean, um, I was never approached with a trade somewhere else, and I said no. So uh, if that would have happened, I would have said yes, obviously. But uh, right now, uh, you know, there was uh, obviously some, some teams that were interested, and, and um, never nothing ever really materialized to the point where I had to give a decision uh, whether I was going to waive or not. So that's, that's as, as good an answer I could give you for that. Jason, when you're chasing the farm, you did say that if you really wanted to be traded, the bottom line here, you could have been traded at some point. Um, do you want to? Are there regrets? Uh, I don't understand your question. About six weeks ago, you said if I had really wanted to be traded, I could have been traded by now. Uh, well, that was, uh, yeah, I think what I meant by that was obviously uh, if I had taken a different approach to. Um, from the end of last year till now, as uh, the way I uh, conduct myself, I think you know things would have been different. But I'm I'm not I'm not disappointed in the way I've handled the situation. I think uh, I've tried to handle it the right way and, and uh, not create any um, uh, any negative energy around the team. And um, you know whether that uh, endeared a trade or not. I mean, I don't regret the way I've handled things. You said you came into this season, you got an open mind, whatever happens, happens. What did you have to do at the end? Uh, what do you mean? Next year, same spot. I, I mean, <laughs> that's a tough question to answer. I mean, uh, I think uh, right now I just really want to focus on the rest of the year. I mean, there's no point in, in worrying about what's going to happen this summer. Um, and we'll just get to that when we get there. Uh, emotionally, how do you handle the rest of the season? I'm sure on some levels you probably thought it wouldn't come to this after the deadline. Uh, well, I'm going to gather myself for the rest of the day and make sure that uh, when I come to work tomorrow, I'm going to be 100% uh, dedicated to this team uh, the rest of the year, no matter what, what that capacity is. Um, I mean, I, I would like nothing better than win a Stanley Cup here this year. And, uh, you know, whether that is starting or, or being a backup, I think uh, that's the end goal for everybody in this locker room. And I'm going to give myself 100% to that. Five more. Enjoy. Over the past few months, Roberto, we've seen uh, many people have seen a different side of you. Yep. Um, I know a lot of hockey fans will wonder: Are they going to keep seeing that same side of you, especially when it comes to social media or just how you approach life day to day? Does today's activity change that? At all? Uh, no, I mean that's who I am. So uh, uh, I don't know why that would change after today. Obviously, there's some days that are harder than others, but. Um, at the end of the day, that's the person that I am, and uh, maybe people are seeing it more now than before. But uh, for me, I mean, uh, you know, nothing really changes. Dan, three more. Roberto, I know you said you didn't want to create any negativity around the team, but over the past year, have you ever thought about speaking to Mike and saying, "I'm going to stay here," and essentially forcing him to maybe move? Uh, no, that that, ne that never happened. I think. Um, after what transpired, uh, you know, the last year and. And uh, before that, I think uh, it was just a natural progression. I think that uh, you know Schneids took over, and uh, for me to move on, so that never really uh, came about. Brooke, two more. Uh, when you were taken off the ice, pulled off the ice, whatever you want to call it, Roberto. Speaking of butterflies, were you thinking something was up? What was running through your? Yeah, of course, definitely. I mean, I uh, wasn't sure. I was asking TC repeatedly. Uh, Thought he may be lying to me for a second, and then, uh, you know, once I got uh, in the office, uh, just sat down with Mike and, and just told me what was going on. I got time for two more. I repeat that time for two more. Okay. Roberto, how, you, how would you sum up this whole thing? If you were writing your story today, that's going to be the paper on today's news. How would you write what's, what's gone on last year? TBD, to be determined. That's, uh, we don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens when it's all said and done, I guess. Uh, I mean, this hockey. Is a yeah, definitely, for sure. I mean, um, you know, hockey is a funny thing. Sometimes uh, things work out for certain reasons. So uh, at the end of the day, maybe this is uh, the best possible outcome for me for this year. You know, uh, hopefully we can go on a run here and, and make something special happen in the playoffs. Okay, one last question for Kevin. Just, I mean, Mike's talked about there being interest and just not an unwillingness to pay the price he wants. When you hear that, is it frustrating to know that you could be elsewhere? Um, 
I don't, I wouldn't call it frustrating, uh, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have anything to do with being elsewhere. I think it's more, uh, honestly, uh, a hit on your pride that uh, you know that uh, teams are not willing to, uh, you know, give up much. And obviously, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a knock on me, but more, you know, my situation uh, with my contract. So. Uh, like I said before, it's a tough spot to be in for, for myself, for the organization, and, and for everybody involved. But, uh, you know, eventually it'll work itself out. Thank you, guys.